hello friends welcome to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is colony hybridization which is also called as screening of genomic library in this video i am going to discuss two things about colony hybridization namely first a short introduction to colony hybridization and second steps or procedure involved for carrying out colony hybridization now let us understand introduction to colony hybridization followed by its procedure involved and yes i will also be discussing about its advantages and applications also so stay tuned and watch the complete video to understand the topic in a simplified manner if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads grunstein and hognes developed the in situ method for detection of recombinant clones genomic dna libraries are often screened by plating out the transformed cells on the growth medium of a master plate and then transferring samples from each colony to a solid matrix such as nitrocellulose or nylon membrane using the cells deproteinizing and denaturing the dna and binding the dna to the matrix at these stages a probe is added and its hybridization occurs signals are observed on an autoradiograph now let us understand the procedure involved or the steps involved in colony hybridization the cloned yeast bacterial colonies to be tested are transferred from the culture plate on to nitrocellulose filter paper by replica plating The filter with the colony replicas is treated with sodium hydroxide to lyse the cells and to denature DNA. The filter is then baked to fix DNA. It is then treated with radioactive P32 labeled single stranded DNA probe that is complementary to the single stranded DNA of interest. The filter is then washed to remove the unbound excess probe, dried and then autoradiographed. The DNA fragments hybridized with the radioactive probe can be detected on a autoradiograph film. This indicates that the cells in the corresponding colonies contain the desired gene. The colony is then taken out from the master plate for mass culture. Now let us understand advantages of colony hybridization. It has 3 major advantages. First, it is an in situ method. second method does not require expression of inserted sequences and can be applied to any sequence provided suitable radioactive probe is available and third non radio isotopic labels can be used now let us understand applications of colony hybridization it has two major applications first colony hybridization can be of quantitative use but it is labor extensive Food samples may be tested for organisms containing a particular gene. Second, it is used to isolate specific DNA sequence from genomic or cDNA library that is complementary DNA library. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest notifications of my new uploads. Thank you.